I think it's going to be around the corner. With coupon values decreasing, In Good Sense author Beth Montgomery says it's pushed more people to try out generics. 12 cents per ounce, 26 servings. Which is then pushing manufacturers to possibly change course. In 2013, I'm being told that the coupon values are going to start to go back up again. So hopefully we'll be able to save more money again. That's according to the Coupon Information Center, which also indicates in the wake of extreme couponing, the practice of double couponing being allowed could eventually fade away forever. So time to find new ways to save. Montgomery says the big sales of the year are really logical. For example, the big grilling holidays. That is a great time to get deals on hot dogs and chips and soda. Around Thanksgiving, the baking items are going to drop in price. Even if you're not having a big holiday meal, it is worth it to brave the stores to get the sale prices. As far as produce goes, the produce mom, Lori Taylor, says if you commit to buying what's in season, you'll always save. The farmers and the retailers are able to sell that product at a cheaper cost, and then of course the savings is passed along to the consumer. That's a vegetable that we should all eat more of is broccoli. <laughs> Let the lowest prices dictate your menu. If you're going to approach the produce department by saying, you know what, I'm going to always buy fruit, fresh fruits and vegetables, and I'm going to always buy what's on sale, you will, you will expose yourself and your family to a great variety. And fresh isn't always the least expensive option. In my own home, we're eating a lot of canned, frozen, fresh, dried, 100% juice. To really discover the best prices on your family's staple products, commit to tracking what you pay for them for six months, then time your shopping based on what you learn. You can see a trend. The price usually goes down and then back up, and then down and then back up, and you'll know every three weeks my solar cereal is going to be on sale and I should go buy it. She also suggests trying discount stores like Aldi. It has some great deals and they really have really great quality food. You're more than likely going to grab this and eat it when it's in your fridge, readily available. Also, only stock up on what you'll actually eat. Never buy just because the price is low. Because there's nothing more frustrating than having your produce rot and throwing it away and thinking that was five dollars and it just went in the trash or in the compost or down the disposal. And it's gone from 16 ounces to 13. <laughs> Finally, since many companies have decreased the sizes of their products, the brownies used to say 9 by 13 pan and now they say 8 by 8. Keep a list of the unit prices you prefer to pay. Instead of looking at the overall package size and the overall package price, figure out how much you're paying per unit and set a goal for that. If that unit price is too high, just don't buy it. These sounds usually mean your car is getting fixed because it got smashed. Here are a few tips to make sure that it gets fixed right and the insurance will cover it. First, have the place come out, write a report. Indiana Farm Bureau insurance agent Paul Dumas says always get a report. Otherwise, proving who owes what and why can take a long time. Then before the work can start, this should happen from your insurance company. So we actually come to you, whether your car's at home, um, a wrecker lot, um, or at work, and we write an estimate, and we can tell what's wrong. We give you the estimate and say, go to whatever body shop you want. That's right, some companies may say to use their recommended body shop, but you get to choose. We chose to go to Ray Skilvin Collision Center in Greenwood. FYI, your body shop will also do an estimate, as will the insurance adjuster. And nowadays, most have the same computer programs detailing how much parts are and what the labor will cost. So they should come close to matching up. Body shops are often given the final say, as they can do a more detailed inspection. Okay, now it's time to move forward. This is when you go to pick up your car. Don't just get in and drive away. Now's the time to check it out. And Shad Williams, the Hyundai service manager, says do so thoroughly. It should look perfect. The paint should be nice and flat. It should match the, you know, the side that wasn't repaired. The whole car should look just like it did before you brought it in. Body panel gaps are one of the easiest things to look for, but they're often overlooked. Like this is a perfect example. This is hit on the right side, so make sure this door gap matches the left side door gap. 
and check the paint to make sure it's perfectly flat, not ripply looking, which is commonly called orange peel. Looking at it in the sunlight or under a good fluorescent at the body shop is best. Finally, try all the doors, the windows, and anything else that moves in the repaired area or adjoining area. In the end, it should run and sound like before the accident with no new rattles. Scott Jones, Fox 59 News.